Good day, grade 10 learners. This is Teacher Sharon, your TLECSS teacher. Last week, we discussed setting up your computer and BIOS configuration. The principal job of a computer BIOS is to govern the early stages of the startup process, ensuring that the operating system is correctly loaded in the memory. BIOS is vital to the operation of most modern computers, and knowing some facts about it will help you troubleshoot issues with your machine. We need to know the role of BIOS in booting process. The BIOS first task is to configure all the system hardware with basic drivers so the system can get up and running. These drivers will set up and repair the system memory and configure any peripheral devices for use such as the hard drives, optical drives, and video card. The BIOS loads a basic system that able to read the devices that contain the system operating system. The BIOS typically displays a splash screen when loading the initial CMOS settings and the hardware drivers. BIOS initiates the operating system, boot process after all the drivers are loaded and configured. The operating system contains more robust versions of the system drivers and replaces them with the BIOS versions once they're loaded. The BIOS boot process is like the ignition on a car gets the system ready for use. Now you already know the role of BIOS in booting process and you already know how to set up BIOS. This week we will be dealing with creating installers and you are expected to create a bootable DVD or CD and you are expected to create an installation disk for drivers, applications and utilities. In creating installers, we need to know what is ISO or IMG file. An IMG or ISO file is a complete image of physical media such as a CD-ROM, DVD, floppy disk that contains all of the files in a particular package. What are the bootable installation packages? When you say installation package, this is what you purchase from the web store. And when you say installation image, the content of the installation package. And when you say installation disk or media, what you produce from the installation image through the burning process. The bootable installation package contains a disk image that is identical to the box product that you would purchase at any software retailer. This image may be burned directly to physical media to produce a bootable installation DVD. Once copied to physical media, this package may be used to install an operating system on any compatible hardware with or without an existing operating system installed. What do I do with my installation package? To install any software package from an image, the image itself must be first mounted by the operating system. This can be accomplished by burning the image directly to DVD, making sure to specify the source type as image. Once the burning of the image is complete, the physical media can be inserted into the computer and will be recognized like any other DVD. You must have a writable DVD drive. Burning the file to a disk as a data disk will simply end up with an IMG or ISO file on the disk which cannot be used for the installation. To prepare physical media from a bootable installation image, you require the following. Writable DVD drive, writable DVD media, CD, DVD, burning software, and bootable installation image. In creating bootable DVD media, the general process for creating bootable DVD media is similar in all CD, DVD burning software. 
If you don't already have an application to burn files onto a DVD, you will need to download the freeware version. First thing first. Step 1. Download Win ISO and then install it. After installation, run the software. Step 2. Make bootable ISO file. Open an ISO file which is non-bootable ISO. Then set the boot image file. Tips. There are two ways to set the boot information with Win ISO. Usage 1. Click bootable on the toolbar. Choose the set boot image. Select a boot image file. Dialog will appear on your screen. Usage 2. You can also load information from CD, DVD, BD driver, or CD, DVD, BD image file. Click bootable on the toolbar, then click the import form. There are two options. If you have the boot information in your CD, DVD, or BD, just choose the CD, DVD, BD driver. Then you will get a message including the important succeeded message the boot file size, and as your weather set into the current working image or save it to the file. Click the set into current button, the bootable ISO you will get right now. We recommend you to save the boot information first, then set it into the non-bootable file. Step 3. Burn the bootable ISO file to DVD. Prepare a blank DVD and make sure you have a DVD driver to insert it. Then click the burn on the toolbar. Choose the DVD driver you have and the bootable ISO you've just got. Everything is okay. Now click burn. A few minutes you will get a bootable DVD. More things you can do. Extract boot image. Win ISO can also extract the boot information from the bootable DVD or bootable ISO files. More things you can do is to clear boot information. If you do not need boot information for your file, Win ISO can help to solve the problem. Just click bootable on the toolbar. The drop down list will pop up. Click the clear boot information, then you will get a non boot image file as the original ISO you have. To check your understanding, this will measure how much you have learned from the lesson. Please create a bootable DVD or CD. You must create an installation list for drivers, applications, and utilities. Follow the steps and procedures. Turn your module on page 45. For your home task, read the steps in creating a bootable USB media. Turn your module on page 46. That's all for today. Again, this is Teacher Sharon, your TLE CSS 